Hey, hello friends. So, welcome again to another session on thirds. And today we are going to discuss a very critical and very very important topic. That's called rationalization. Now, many students we have observed they struggle a lot when this particular concept is applied into thirds. So, let's try and understand these concepts uh, in the best possible way. And further to this, you'll have to solve obviously. some amount of problems to get it affected so let's begin so as the name suggest rationalization that means you are converting something which is not rational into something which is rational that's why the name rationalization now usually it is used for you know in context of thirds so let us say if i have a third let's say root 3 okay and i want to rationalize it so there exists another third which when multiplied with root 3 will render it a rational number so for example if i multiply root 3 by another root 3 if you see what will you get you will get 3 isn't it now 3 is a rational number so what do we conclude what do we conclude that this process of converting an irrational number into a rational number by multiplication with another third is called the process of rationalization you understood rationalization rationalization so i converted some irrational into rational hence rationalization right so what do we understand or what do we conclude for any third whether it is a pure third or a compound third there exists another third which when multiplied with the original third will give you a rational result so let us take another example let us say i have root 2 i want to convert into a rational number so if i multiply either by root 2 or any multiples of root 2 i will get 2 so root 2 into let's say 2 root 2 will fetch 4 so everywhere you see whether you multiply by root 2 or by 2 root 2 the result is always a rational number rational number isn't it so that's this process is called rationalization to so convert a ugly looking third into a beautiful looking rational number so let us take an example of a compound third so let us say root 2 plus root 3 is a compound third i want to rationalize it what do i do i multiply this with another third let us say root 2 minus root 3 and why do i do this you'll get to know in a short time so if you now multiply this it will be nothing but root 2 squared minus root 3 squared which is 2 minus 3 hence minus 1 which is again a rational number now this particular third which was multiplied with the original third so this one is called the conjugate third what is it called conjugate third conjugate third right this is conjugate third or the another name is complementary third complementary third so these are the two names given to let us say something which is be being multiplied with a compound third so this is a this is a compound third original compound third and you wanted to find out what should be it it uh, what should the other third be which when multiplied with this compound third will fetch you a rational number so hence this is uh, the third which is being multiplied is called the conjugate third right so every compound third will have a conjugate third so what how do i define conjugate third so we say so let us define this as well so that you get an understanding so two quadratic or two binomial binomial quadratic now you know make sure that the order is two so hence it is two binomial quadratic thirds thirds which differ which differ which differ only which differ only in the sign only in the sign which connects them which connects them right are called conjugate thirds right so example of conjugate thirds are examples are for example example of root 2 plus root 7 what is the connecting sign connecting sign is this plus isn't it so root 2 plus root 7 conjugate will be nothing but root 2 minus root 7 
you can also say that root 2 plus root 7 uh, conjugate could be minus root 2 plus root 7 why because this could have been written as root 7 plus root 2 so this is the conjugate of this and this is the conjugate of this right so these are called conjugate search obviously you have to see that they are quadratic quadratic order 2 so hence you can't say root through 3 uh, sorry third root of 4 minus third root of 7 the conjugate is not third root of 4 plus third root of 7 this is not going to yield you any rational number when you multiply these two so hence always remember this has to be for quadratic what quadratic surge right so that is how we define conjugate so now I hope you understood rationalization. So what to do if there is a pure third? So you know this. Let us say if it is a pure third, then then what you need to do? Multiply, multiply, multiply it with itself, and you will get rational result, right? If it is a conjugate third, sorry, if it is a compound third, compound third, then multiply with its conjugate isn't it or complementary so example of one let us say let us say example of one so if it is root 3 i will multiply it by root 3 to get 3 if it was let's say root of 19 what do you need to do multiply by root of 19 you will get 19 right and examples of two examples of two if it is root 3 plus root 7 then you multiply this with root 3 minus root 7 if it is 2 root 2 minus 3 root 5 then you multiply this with 2 root 2 plus 3 root 5 if it is minus 2 root 7 plus 4 root 3 you multiply this with minus 2 root 7 minus 4 root 3 like that so these are all examples of you see everywhere i'm just changing the sign this is plus it becomes minus here this is minus this becomes plus here so connecting sign change right this is what we learned about conjugate oh sorry um rationalization of surge let us take an example so example is rationalize the denominator rationalize rationalize the denominator okay so let us say first example is 1 upon root 2 I have to rationalize its denominator what do I know if it is a pure third multiply it with pure third same number but then when you are rationalizing the denominator you are changing the denominator basically so you have to multiply the numerator also with the same quantity to compensate the change so hence it is nothing but root 2 upon 2 now if you see the denominator has been rationalized another example rationalizing 1 minus root 3 1 by root 3 sorry so hence it is nothing but minus 1 so you have to multiply with the same third same third so hence it is minus root 3 by 3 rationalized now if it is a let's say compound third or a rational plus irrational third let's say 2 plus root 3 so what do you do you simply do 1 by 2 plus root 3 times 2 minus root 3 i change the connecting sign but i have to compensate also by multiplying the numerator so that the the value doesn't change so what do i get i get 2 minus root 3 upon 2 square minus root 3 squared now this is simply this one if you observe this is a plus b times a minus b form which is nothing but a square minus b square so hence what do we get i get 2 minus root 3 upon 4 minus 3 hence it is 2 minus root 3 upon 1 that is 2 minus root 3 let us take another example so you have to let's say you have to rationalize 3 by 4 minus root 3 yep or let us say 2 root 3 right 4 minus 2 root 3 so how do i rationalize the denominator that is so it is 4 minus 2 root 3 multiplied by 4 plus 2 root 3 i multiplied with the conjugate and on top also it will be 4 plus 
2 root 3 right so what should be the value now the value is 12 plus 6 root 3 so I multiplied the numerator now and in the denominator you'll get 4 square minus 2 root 3 square again a plus b a minus b form so it is 12 plus 6 root 3 and divided by 16 minus 12 right so you'll get 4 com uh, sorry not 4 is not common so hence you'll get what 12 plus 6 root 3 divided by 4 and so you can can cancel 1 2 so it is 6 plus 3 root 2 3 root 3 sorry divide by 2 okay or you can further simplify it as 3 plus 3 by 2 root 3 so this is what we get if we rationalize the denominator so likewise now you understand if it is a pure third then you simply multiply by its uh no, same number right but then sin since we multiplied something in the denominator which will effectively change the value of the uh, you know given you know third so hence what do i do i multiply the numerator also to constant compensate that change and eventually i get this right so and if it is a conjugate third then you know what to do multi the, the uh, sorry if it is a compound third then you know what to do multiply it by its conjugate top and bottom both to get the rationalized denominator i hope you understood this and for more uh, such uh, you know you need to do some more uh, practice solve the worksheet which is attached and you will be able to perfect it